Hi everyone, welcome to the WSO2 Identity Server Identity Federation training video. In this video, we are going to learn about the usage and benefits of Identity Federation. Let's begin by understanding why we need Identity Federation. There are two main beneficiaries in Identity Federation, consumers and enterprises. For consumers, it is a matter of gaining access to applications with minimal effort. Whereas enterprises use Identity Federation to adopt new business demands fast and to adhere to complex corporate requirements such as password policies, strong authentication, login policies and regulatory compliance. So what is Identity Federation? Identity Federation is a way of connecting a person's digital identity and attributes that are stored across multiple distinct trust domains. In the current world, businesses will continue to grow with acquisitions and mergers. This requires you to grant permissions to users from other organizations to access your applications. It is not practical to create all the users in each application. Instead, we create trust relationships between the identity providers. When a user from one organization wants to access an application in another organization, the request will first come to the identity provider of the user's organization and then be forwarded to the identity provider of the other organization. The user can then access the application as the identity providers trust each other. This is called identity federation. In the modern society, most users have accounts in well-known identity providers such as Facebook and Google. Hence, we need to let users bring their own identities and access the applications, which is important since it is a consumer-driven world out there. In social login, identity federation is accomplished using well-known identity providers. So let's look at the benefits of using identity federation. Identity Federation leverages on standard, well-established protocols such as SAML2 Single Sign-On, OAuth2 and OpenID Connect, allowing users, applications and identity providers to exchange information in a secure and standard manner. It also enables single sign-on and multi-fact authentication for the applications. Single sign-on significantly reduces risk of credential leakage and eliminates the overhead of maintaining multiple passwords. For applications requiring additional security, multi-factor authentication can be introduced without making changes to the application. Modern identity providers are designed to onboard applications in a matter of minutes and grant access to users automatically and instantly adhering to complex access control policies. There is no need to implement costly one-off or proprietary solutions to connect internal or third-party applications. Identity Federation also enables organizations to get regulatory compliance and adapt latest security trends with minimal time and effort. We have now come to the end of this training video. Let's have a quick recap of what we learned from this training. First, we got to know why consumers and enterprises need Identity Federation. Next, we learnt about Identity Federation as well as how to achieve Identity Federation using well-known identity providers. And finally, we got to know the benefits of using Identity Federation for your applications. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to get in touch with us through the following channels. Our email is iam-dev at wso2.org in Stack Overflow, tag your queries with WSO2 or WSO2IS and our Slack channel is WSO2IS.slack.com. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to meet you in another exciting training video soon.